Hey kids, boys and girls, other such things. Justin Shock here with Shock Rock. Kind of a podcast. Anyway, here's what's up, man. Got this death metal band. Uh, let me see, how do I pronounce this name? Vesicarum? Sure. Um, so, uh, this was sent to me, and I was like, cool, I'll give it a listen. Uh, artwork's awesome. The logo's awesome. Not stoked on the music, alright? This song is called Reign of Terror. Uh, this band been around, I guess, for a minute, but just released this, uh, what's it called? An EP, five-song EP. Um, they're from the UK, right? Vesicarum. You know how death metal bands be, you can't pronounce shit. <laughs> anyway, so I've listened to this EP a couple times. Um, as for death metal, it's good. I feel like the vocals could be a little deeper to match the music, or they could tune higher to match the vocals. Either way, it would even it out more. Um, lyrically, the well, the patterns that go around with it, uh, if you can tell by listening to this, it sounds kind of like a SOD, uh, like that kind of choppy. Rip, 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 rip. Sergeant D is coming and you're on his list. Alright, let's get out of this reign of terror. Let's go to the sick and depraved. See, I mean, it's not awful, you know? It's actually, it, it's decent, but, uh, I don't know. For me, the vocals weren't doing it for me. I know, that sounds kind of shitty to say, you know, death metal be that way, but when you listen to music, you gotta have that, you know, you gotta... You, you know what you're wanting to hear, and you know what you should be hearing. This kind of reminds me, okay, let's go back a few dozen years. Uh, if this were a band locally, I would probably be really into them. But maybe we gotta go check these motherfuckers out, dude, playing at that fucking UFW hall. You know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this band, Vesakaram. It's probably pronounced differently, but hey, whatever, fuck it. Um, definitely metal, definitely 90s. Even the recording style has that early uh, early days of locality. Ooh, I just got a really heavy Fear Factory vibe for some reason. Let's do it. Like I felt like I was listening to Fear Factory. Even though it sounds nothing like Fear Factory. Weird. But anyway, this band. And check them out if you want. I mean, they're not bad, actually. I mean, it's not something I, like, I would listen to the whole record on a regular basis, like I would, say, um, I don't know, Cannibal Corpse or something, where I'd listen to it straight through. If I had this, like, on a shuffle list, I'd, you know, keep it going. Uh, but definitely worth uh, worth a listen. Um, pretty decent. Not the greatest, but pretty good. Um... What else is happening? I'm sure there's a lot happening in there. Of course there is. Um, so, we all know that concerts have been uh, a little sporadic this year. A lot of cancellations, a lot of shit like that. Um, but, September 9th through the 12th, Full Terror Assault. I believe it's in Illinois. Yeah, it's in Illinois. Um, huge thrash and death metal type deal going on this year they have guar exodus mod uh ton of other fucking bands like ton i mean it's like a 19 day festival um 
It's called the full, full, the full terror assault. Um, so look that up, get some tickets, and you know, have a good time. You know, you listen to metal or anything like that, uh, especially Guar. Come on, even after Brocky, you know, left us, uh, Guar's still kicking ass, straight up. All right, so check that out. I'm pretty excited to know that you know we have that option um i still plan on seeing sick of it all agnostic front and crown of thorns in august they got canceled for may and got moved to late august um i really hope that still goes on sick of it all is my all-time favorite band i know i'm sitting here telling you what kind of death metal to listen to but i don't give a fuck all right open-minded um what else in the music world? Uh, there's a lot going on. Little Richard died today. That's sad. Uh, rock and roll. Uh, royalty right there, boy. Um, like a lot of you, I'm sure you grew up on the rock and roll music. Elvis, Beach Boys, Motown, Jackson 5, all that. Little Richard was right there with it. And, uh, you know, that's a, a legend that we lost that uh, will forever be remembered. Because he just made great fucking rock and roll music. Straight up. Um, uh, that's all I got. Uh, a few things coming up. Uh, my brother's in uh, Discard the Body. Got a new album coming out called From the Meat Hook to the Chopping Block. I listened to this record, listened to the first. Uh, it's not been mastered yet, but like I said, my brother is. Uh, they, they've been with me for a long time uh, 38 years <laughs> uh, anyway I uh, listened to the early recording of it and it is fucking hard dude alright so I'll be bringing you that new discard the body soon and you know let you know how you can pick that up um what else oh this little uh, talky dealy I do here can now be listened to on Spotify Pocket Cast Radio something or other uh, wherever you want to listen to it, listen to it. Anchor FM, definitely. Uh, which, Anchor FM, dude, it's, it's uh, excellent, okay? If you just want to talk about shit, put it on Anchor FM. <laughs> you know, somebody's going to listen. Um, That's really, that's really it for me. So, I will leave you guys with Undivine End. But for now, this is Justin Shock with the Shock Rock Podcast. Look me up on the Instagrams and the Twitters. And uh, be sure to check out the House of Tortured Souls.com. That's who uh, helps me get this name out there. Um, wherever I post this, YouTube, whatever, I'll make sure to drop some links. So, everybody, listen to that metal. All right, deuce.
been listening to a House of Tortured Souls production. <laughs>